How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to take a look at the Manta Sleep Mask Sound. At first I thought it's a little bit thick, but you have to realize anything in front of your eyes does not get in the way unless you sleep with your face facing down. When you sleep on the side, it has low profile headphones and I don't feel it at all. Let's compare the Manta Sleep Mask Pros with the Manta Sleep Mask Sound. This front flap has the earphones and all the electronics built in. The centerpiece is washable with the same eye cups as the Manta Pros. It includes an over the head strap in case you want to make it more secure and a mesh bag to allow you to toss the whole thing in the laundry. This is from the Pro and this is from the Sound. They are largely almost identical. It includes the same full blackout eye cups. The Pro strap is designed to go right over the ears, whereas the Sound strap is designed to cover your ears. The Pros have these rubber traction marks on it, whereas on the Sound, it does not have that. If I stretch the Pros, it can reach the corner of the screen. Stretching the Sounds, it also reaches the corner of the screen. The front of the Pros have this cool black light pattern, whereas the inner part of the Sound is just fuzzy. If we put the top cover of the Sound over it, you see the Sound also has a similar design. To just push the power button and a little red light glows. You slide these speakers front and back to match the position of your ears. Removing them, it comes off like that. The wire comes in this way and it's a very thin object. You can't even feel it when you rest it on top of a pillow. Slide it back in like so. There are Velcros on the back. You just position them as needed. And this right here is the thickness that's going to go up against your temples. I find that it's reasonably thin so that I can sleep with this on. At first, I didn't like them too much because they seem to not be able to stretch too well. When you attach something stretchy to something that's not stretchy like these electronics, what happens? It becomes less stretchy. Pro tip here is put them on tightly at first and then put on the electronic section. Now take it off and then put it on as lightly as you want. When you do that, it becomes a lot stretchier now. There is an over the head top strap if you want to make it more secure. Orient it so that the orange tag is on the top, the folding side on whichever hand you are. Peel open one of the sides and insert it here. Close it back up. Peel open the other side and insert it sort of in the middle and then close it back up. And now you have a strap that goes over the top of your head. Generally, I like to use mine a little loosely. I don't really like to readjust the Velcro straps. So I can just pull it off like that. And if I want to put it on, kind of pull it over your head, adjust the top head strap, and you don't have to readjust anything. Now these speakers is what you call open air. If you play like hip hop, other people can hear it. However, if you play ambient sounds like ocean waves or whatnot, it's much harder to hear if someone's sitting next to you. I'm playing a music track on about half volume. At the louder parts of the music, you can kind of hear it. If I put it really close, you can hear it. Now I'm gonna play some ocean sounds. You can't hear it. If you're doing a back sleeping, there's a little bit of fabric here but it's fairly comfortable. I can't feel it at all. Doing side sleeping, nothing. And realize that there's a speaker in between my head and the pillow here. Well, which one to choose? Do you want sound or no sound? Ultimately, I think the sound version is an additional feature upgrade to the pros. At first when I wore it, I'm like, oh, this is too stiff. But with my little stretchy hack, I actually came to really like this one. If you guys are interested in either of these items, check out my referral link down in the video description below. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.